Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Maz Naturals and today I'm excited to come and tell you guys how the no oil is going. If you're interested, then keep on watching. I did this video today because you guys have been asking me how it's going, how the no oil is going. The no oil is going brilliantly. I'm still not using oil on my scalp. Um, it's going fine. And I'm going to share with you guys the pros and the cons. But there isn't no cons. It's all pros. <laughs> um, right. So, as for those of you who are, who are new to my channel, um, my video I posted a few weeks ago was the no oil so I wasn't using oil anymore um I read an article and I listened to a podcast of these two ladies who were talking about not using oil in your scalp that it clogs the pores blah 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 so I decided that I'm gonna take up the challenge and try not to use oil on my scalp and see what happens so I started doing it a few months ago uh, me and my, my daughter actually started doing it and um, we found that they it had so many benefits like my hair it just oh I tell you what my hair felt so um, I don't know it just felt light and it also felt really really soft now I don't know if that is not using the oil or it's down to me using my sprays because I, I use like rose, a rosemary spray. I use aloe vera juice in my locks and it keeps it um, moisturized and it keeps it moist. So I don't know if it's a combination of the two, not using the oil in my scalp. Um, my locks don't itch I don't, it doesn't itch anymore because obviously I'm not putting anything in the scalp so um, you know it's got no reason to be itchy and not to say I don't put anything because obviously when I use my sprays I put essential oils in the sprays so I'm spraying that on my scalp but I'm not actually physically using the oil um, I'll tell you what the oils I used to use. So these are the type of oils that I used to use. This is a TG hair care, very good line. You can find her on Instagram. I used to use that on my scalp. I used to use the vitamin E oil. This is another very good brand. Uh, what else I used to use? I used to use this one by uh, Pure Goodness. I used to use it in my scalp and I don't use it anymore. But saying that, just because I'm not using it directly on my scalp, I just use it on the actual hair itself. I use it on the hair itself. Um, and that's besides the point. So I'm going to take my hair down. Bearing in mind, I kind of twisted my my hair so i just put it in a in the bun at the moment this is um old curls right it's only been in a couple of weeks but um i just feel like my 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 locks just feel so soft that is the most thing that is the most thing i've noticed is that my locks feel really really soft um this i had i did do a retwist i'm trying not to retwist as much because i don't think my locks can take too much retwisting and i don't want to develop traction alopecia so for you guys who are new to the, this lock journey try not to retwist too often because you know you might i'm not saying you will if you've got thick thick hair you're all right but if you've got medium to fine hair texture then you 
could you could develop traction alopecia if you retwist too often i'm going to do a retwist to explain about retwisting and the problems that you can have i will do a video on that because i think it's important for those of you who are new to this lock journey so that you can avoid any problems in the future so yeah so basically um the hair just feels so soft that's the one thing i noticed but that i don't know if that is because i am looking after it a bit more um doing um doing auto treatments and steaming is really good for the locks um it just feels so soft so so soft the only thing i need to stop doing is putting it up too much but i just really liked having my air off my um my neck i don't like it i don't always like it down so i don't really i don't always like it down so i don't really try not to wear it down all the time i just like it back or up you know and plus i just these these new locks here irritate me because it just sticks everywhere because they're new so i normally kind of try and fold it under if i'm wearing it like this like that so yeah so that's what i noticed the hair and my hair feels light it feels very light it feels soft to the touch soft very soft at the roots i don't know if that's because of the no oil on the scalp i just don't know but i really noticed that it feels really soft in the root area and what i've been doing i've been trying to massage because i feel that my hair around here is 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 um thinner than like say the back and maybe these sides it's just here and i thinking it could be because i'm at that menopausal stage and you can develop menopausal hair loss so because i've been doing my research and um i don't know i don't i think because i've got these new locks coming um i don't know i just feel it's a bit sparse in this area you guys tell me what you think but i'm just keeping an eye on it but um that's why i try not to do retwist retwist too often but then at the same time if i don't retwist it i feel like it will break like i feel like the hair will come away from the base and sometimes i don't sometimes okay i'm a bit lazy to go through each section and wrap the hairs around um if you look at my seven months i don't know if it's seven months or when i when i went when i did semi-free form for a whole year i did the braid technique and i need to go i think i need to go back to that because when i was doing the braid technique I felt like my hair stayed on the base but i've got a bit lazy with that and i've just been wrapping the hairs around so some of it is just gone like shifted gone all over the place and it's it's not it doesn't it it's kind of it doesn't know where to go so it's just like going, oh i'll join this lock here oh i'll join this lock there and then when i'm trying to separate the roots it get i get it gets caught so i really need to go through and make sure the locks are like this one this is on the base you can see my my gray hairs this one stays on the base but some of them grow off the base so i think i need to go back to my um i think i need to go back to braiding the new growth into my locks so i think i might need to go back to that but yeah guys apart from that i feel like it, it, it's grown a little I don't, it's grown a little you can see that on this side this side not so much actually this one this side is coming back to because because i cut my locks i feel like this side is kind of trying to catch up with this side because this side is the longest side so um oh, so irritating 
so irritating yeah so guys i believe that it's the best decision i've made and my hair still feels it feels oily it doesn't you know when i go like this it still feels moisturized it doesn't feel dry that's the thing it doesn't feel dry it feels moisturized so i don't believe i need to add extra oil to my to my scalp i think it's fine as it is so yeah i just needed to come and give you guys an update as i promised um this video will probably there's another video what's gone out called kill what was it lock kills lock kills or yeah lock kills and this one was meant to go out before that but you'll have to wait for this one <laughs> so uh yeah it is been very good i still use my oils when i do a hot oil treatment i use these when i do a hot oil treatment and um or sometimes i use like uh, the castor oil and i mix it with the ohoba oil so i still apply oil but i don't do it on the scalp when i do the oils i just put it i just put it like here but i don't go on the scalp i don't like put it through like i used to and it's been great it's been fantastic so that is the update that i had for you um try it for yourself i mean it worked for me if you guys of you if you used to put in the oil part in and do it on the scalp like i used to and it's working then carry on but i just wanted to try something different and it worked my daughter is a loose natural she's been doing it with me and her hair's grown as well her hair seems to have grown into a bigger afro i wish i could bring her on but she doesn't want to be on I wish I could bring her on to show you, but she doesn't really, she, she doesn't really do YouTube and stuff like that. But maybe one day she might come on. Maybe one day we'll see. So guys, yeah, this is part of a, a braid out, a lot of body, um, and it's. It was quite curly but then the curls have dropped but i prefer it dropped actually i like it dropped but i thought the curls would last a bit tighter but i don't think i used enough but yeah so guys if there's any questions you've got regarding this no oil or if you've actually tried it yourself then please 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 share in the comments below and let me know your experience of it or if you prefer to use oil on your scalp, then let me know why. Um, if it's working for you, then carry on doing it. But if you want to try something different, if you want to do what I've done and not use oil, then share in the comments below. Just try it, even if you try it for a month or so. I mean, what have you got to lose? Nothing, you know you can still use the oil but you don't have to use it directly on your scalp you can use it on just the hair itself but not on the scalp but i feel like i'm waffling now um so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you'll be alerted of my up and coming videos and also please give this video a thumbs up and if you like this video then share this video i would appreciate it so thank you guys stay blessed stay beautiful and stay uniquely you and i'll see you all in my next video thank you for watching Mwah.